Greetings everyone, my name is Tony Hollowitz and thank you for being here for this tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about some of the other little things in ACT that I haven't discussed yet. So you're looking at the layout in ACT and I'm going to go up and come to edit. And what I want you to observe is tabs and I'm going to click on tabs. Now down below, these are all the tabs that basically come somewhat standard with ACT. If you decided that you wanted to add a tab, you can click on Add Tab, give it any name, and you could add your own tab with information that's relevant to you. Also, if you want, you can move these tabs around. You can move them up or down to edit the way they flow down below. So a lot of times we're looking left to right. Maybe you want something way over to the left. You can do that. Sometimes you might decide, you know what? You want to get rid of a tab. You can click on the tab and send it over here to hide it. Now keep in mind, when you delete a field out of a layout or you hide a tab, you're not deleting any information. It's there. It's underneath the layout. To see it, you have to add that thing right back in. But you can work with the tabs so that you can see information or not see it, order it, and just change it a little bit. So take a look at that. And again, to get here, I went to Edit and then Tabs. Next, I'm going to go to View, and I want you to observe something called Tab Stops. So this is generally the last thing I do. And the last thing I do is Edit the Tab Stops. So I'm going to come here and click on Show Tab Stops. So what happens is this. Let's say, just for the sake of our example, that we added a new field between zip code and country. Well, it would not have a tab stop. What If you gave it a tab stop, it would be, for example, let's say we have 100 different fields in here. The tab stop for that particular field would be 101 because it's the last field entered and that's the only offering. So sometimes you might want to come up and go to view and when you look at tab stops, you can clear them. Now I got to tell you, once you clear them, you got to go through and number them again so that all the information is sort of reset. There are some things you'll notice don't have tab stops because they're not things you'd normally go through on your own. They're just system information. But all of these items have tab stops. If I click on contact access, there we go. So what happens is as you hit the tab key in ACT, it's going to jump all around the screen. And after it gets to 20, which is right here, it will jump here. So it sort of opens up the tab automatically for you and takes you to that field, which is called Record Manager. So again, if you go to View, Tab Stops, you can show the tab stops or you can clear them all. Clearing them, you got a little bit of work out of you. So just be careful with this. But that is something you want to be aware of so that your information flows as you're entering data into ACT. Obviously, you don't want to have to hit the tab key and have it go from contact all the way over to state and then back to title and then over to referred by and then ID status. You want it to flow nicely. So that's just a little bit of information on working with tab stops in ACT. Do this last, and I always tell my clients, after you're certain the layout is exactly the way you want it, let's wait a week before we do the tab stops because invariably they come back to me and want to add another field. And if I've done the tab stops, you got to do it again. It's not hard. It's just a little bit time consuming. So just keep that in mind. Hey, everyone. Thank you so very much for being here. I greatly appreciate your time. Be well. Bye now.